The last question on the exam paper is uh, for the following information being collected from the records of Jones Enterprises Limited for the financial year ended 30th of June 2016 and we're given some uh, accounts and it asks prepare a fully classified cash flow statement for the year ended 30th of June 2016 for Joe's Enterprises. Now we need to um, we need to once again classify and our classifications this time are operating financing, investing, and non-cash. So that's the first thing we need to do before we do anything else. So I've got cash at bank, well we're not reconciling cash at bank. Interest paid is operating, dividends received is operating, profit made on the sale of um, machinery. Now profit's a key word that we know relates to non-cash. Bank uh, cash at bank on the 1st of July. We've got depreciation which is non-cash because depreciation is a book entry. Payment for the purchase of new motor vehicles, that's investing. Loan repayments made is financing. Income tax paid is operating. Cash received from the sale of machinery, well that's cash received, so that's investing. Cash sales is operating. Cash received from accounts receivable is operating. Payments made to suppliers is operating. Credit sales for the year, that keyword there, credit, is non-cash. And money borrowed from Simco Bank is financing. And purchase of property and land is investing. Now, I can tick that one off because that's, and this one, and I'm going to tick off my non-cash items. So that I know that at the end of the day I'm going to tick off all of these items here. So that's the hardest bit I've done. Now I want to do the easy bit, which is um, prepare a cash flow statement. So my cash flow statement starts with a heading. We love our headings. So cash flow statement. For Jones Enterprises. Limited for the year ending 30th on the 6th 2016 and my first section is operating and the first thing I'm going to put into my operating is my cash that I receive from my customers which is the sum of these two, which is 660. Now I'm just going to add them together because it's for analysis purposes is easier. Um, collections from customers, or actually it's called receipts from customers. And my receipts from customers is 660. And then my payments to suppliers. And my payments to suppliers, I'll tick those two off, is 685. And what other operating activities do I have here? We've got income taxes paid, uh, 90,000. I've got dividends received. Seven thousand. Oops, I should bracket that and bracket that because those are cash outflows. This is a cash inflow. Interest paid. Which is three thousand five hundred. That's a cash outflow again. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Yep. Okay. So now, how much do we have there? Let me add all this up. Turn my calculator right on. 660 minus 685 minus 90 plus 7000 minus 3500 
is 111,500. And you can see that that is a cash outflow. So we've got a cash outflow in our operating activities. Next item I'm going to put down is my um, investing activities. Uh, my first investing activity is motor vehicle purchase. Sixty thousand. Uh, machinery sale proceeds is a hundred and twenty thousand. Any others? So uh, once when we purchase a land land purchase. Five hundred thousand. How yeah, much does that make? That's seven twenty less sixty is six sixty. And that's a cash out by two. Is that right? No. Where am I going? Machinery proceeds. Sorry. They should be there. No, let's do that again. So it's a cash cash inflow, so it's sixty less that, so it's four four forty. Once again it's a cash outflow. Uh, okay, then my financing activities. So financing, we've got uh, loan proceeds. We've got loan proceeds of 670,000. That's a cash inflow, and that one we ticked off. And repayments. $70,000. Which makes a cash flow 600000 That's a cash inflow. So let's add my cash flows up. Minus, so we go minus 440 plus 600 gives me 48,500. And the cash inflow, that becomes my net cash flow. Opening cash balance. At the first of the seventh, two oh one five, which is my thirty six thousand. Will equal my closing cash balance at the thirtieth of the sixth, two oh one six. Uh, add those two together. Gives me eighty-four thousand five hundred. All right, so that takes care of A because I've prepared my cash flow statement. Now it says, Joan, the enterprises has approached you for a loan. Taking into the consideration the cash flow that you've just um, prepared, would you advance him a loan? Give reasons. Now what we're looking for here is warning signals. So my warning signals. What are my warning signals? Now the first warning signal that I can, would look at is I've got an operating cash outflow. So B, operating cash outflow. That's my first warning signal. My second warning signal is payments to suppliers is greater than my receipts from customers. So 
that's the second warning signal. And my third warning signal comes in here from my loan proceeds. Now I borrow 670,000, so I should expect to see at least an outflow in my investing activities of 670,000, but I've only got outflows here of 560,000. So that must mean that there's 110,000 of this money is used up here in operations, not in tax, but just in operations. So my operating activities. So that's another warning signal. Loan proceeds should be used for non-current assets. So non-current liabilities should equal non-current assets. So inflow, inflow should equal outflow there. Now, that's another warning signal for me. So uh, financing activities, financing inflows used to finance operations. So this is a warning signal. If I'm borrowing money to pay my employees and my suppliers, I'm soon going to be out of business. So would I advance a loan to Jones Enterprises? No, for the above reasons. Thank you.